you just had a baby. And at the time your daughter was uh, 12? So yeah. She was 12. How did they react to you when they saw what happened to their mother? Because I know, I know you dealt with the, the uh, post-traumatic, not post-traumatic, yeah. but uh, post yeah, post-traumatic, postpartum, um, depression. I, I, yeah. I developed PTSD and um, anxiety, severe PTSD, severe anxiety and uh, depression. So, um, I, I laughed for her. I laughed and told her I was in a Uber accident. I was in an accident with an Uber. I didn't want her to even know this mess. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. As far as my baby, my newborn, he didn't know. All he knew was he couldn't get no milk. And I couldn't nurture him. So what they, so you couldn't nurture your son because the acid got inside of your, 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 your chest? The medication, no, the medication that they had me on dried my milk. Oh, wow. Yeah, it dried my milk. Wow. Wow. Well, okay, so you couldn't nurse your baby. And I know that drove you crazy. I know it did. Uh, it did, but at this time, I was totally detached from everything like I I took care of him because I had to I knew right. I had to but my bonding with him um it kind of left I was because I was on so many medications and and stuff like that um I wasn't even kind of like really in my right state of mind I ain't had a patience I ain't even had I ain't had a patience until you know I I had to snap up out of it you know, right. I just knew I loved him and I knew I had to take care of him, but I, it was hard creating that bond because in my mind, this girl did this because I had a baby. Wow. Yeah, so it was kind of like a resentment, but I don't know how to explain it. And um, I couldn't really bond with him. I was emotionally somewhere else. Right, right. And then I once I we moved, I moved, and we broke up. You know, I had to like have a nervous breakdown to snap, snap back. Like I had to snap back, and to this day, um, I I usually think that he can't sleep without me. I don't think I could sleep without him. <laughs> My baby, my son, and yeah, he's he just real. He, he had to witness that trauma. Babies feel right, right. And at right. that point, he felt it. It was times where he wanted me, like coming out the hospital. He wanted me, and I had to, I had to put all the pain to the side. Hop on one leg, carry him on one arm because I couldn't use this side. Right. And I had to like nurture him, like keep him from crying. And I had to hold on him. Like, he witnessed the nightmares. He was right under me on his staff. Like, he yeah. witnessed the nightmares. And, you know what I'm saying? Just the trauma, the crying. You know, babies feel that. He felt all of that. Now, how old was he when he, he felt all this? He was, at this time, five weeks. By the time I got home, he was five weeks. Right. <sighs> And that's why he can't get enough of mama now. He's like, yeah, he can't get like, enough of me now. He's like, he's right up under you, like, hey, ma, you know, like, yeah, man, all right, you know, that's that's gonna develop mama boy syndrome when it's time to get him a girlfriend now. I don't care. They're gonna be like, oh, you are you a mama's boy? You you came in, you 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 still on your mama's titty? You you still a mama? All oh, that, you know, you know, you know how y'all do. I don't, I don't care. Whatever. I don't care. 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 You okay? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. That that is an unconditional love that I have never felt before. So in in when when it comes to my kids in this situation, my daughter, she was pretty really my strength. She was my strength. Like she didn't cry. She just kept me going. Mom, you still beautiful. Yes. You know, I hate that we weren't able to do things that we normally used to do. Um, because I was, I, I didn't come out there for a year, 
you know, I didn't show the world, show my peers or anything, my face until like a whole year later. And um, hold on, hold, hold on, excuse me, viewers. Hey, Panther, Panther, will you stop whining? I'm gonna take you outside. It's about Tracy right now, not you. Pit bulls, man. Pit bulls. Okay. Just, just don't. I want all the attention right now. It's not about you right now. But they, I, I, I yeah. my daughter, my daughter was my strength. Um, and my son, he kind of, I believe he saved me. Yeah. I needed him. Yeah. So he, he wasn't an accident. Oh, by far yeah. not, not at all. He, he wasn't an accident. He wasn't a, a mistake. He was definitely planned on his end. <laughs> he wasn't planned on my end. <laughs> but um, he, he, he saved me because in my mind, I never had suicidal thoughts, but I always had these thoughts. In my mind, you know, growing up in the church, you know, suicide is a sin and thought of this. I never had suicidal thoughts. I think I did. I didn't. But um, I always had these thoughts like, God, why don't you just, like, take me in my sleep? <laughs> you know, a natural way. Oh, you so you want the you want the Lord you want the Lord to swing low sweet chariot and, and carry you. Yeah, home. yeah, I did. And um, no, Tracy, you couldn't you couldn't do that. Your time, you what you're doing right now, you're actually helping somebody through a tough situation right now. This is the whole purpose of this show on muted to help encourage, to let people know they can get through anything. Because obviously, you did. So yeah, he had to you. I feel a word. I feel it. I feel a word. <laughs> I feel it. He had to use this to show others that I can still use you, even when you don't even want to be used. And you want to leave yeah. this, so I can I can still do some stuff with you, Tracy. That's what he was saying yeah. to you, <laughs> man. <laughs> but my son, pretty much, it was just a like my daughter. I love her, and you know, yeah. But when the mother has a boy. I love my daughter. My daughter is my everything. It's just a different bond with so you. You're trying, you trying to find team. a safe way to say that your son is your favorite. That's what you're trying to do right now. You're trying to say, mm -hmm. no, because I, 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 we, no we all did. It. It. Uh, we, as parents, we all did, but we do have that special one to just like, you know, kind of, you know, hey, you'll you go to battle for this. And other, like, hey, you know, you cool. But this nah, right here, uh -uh. Uh -huh, that's what you try. I'm going now. Nah, I'm going to war for both of my my. Oh uh, no! Nah, what? Nah, what, what? What? What's your daughter's name? And I ain't none of your business. Nah. Nabelle. <laughs> Nabelle. <laughs> Nabelle. But my my um <laughs> my it was just a it was a spiritual thing. Right. I needed that type of love, like. You hear that? I just, it's it's a it was something from Denzel Washington that he spoke on about a mother's love for her son and the son's love for his mother. Like it's right. it's something different when you have a son. When a woman have a son, he was just a dose of love that I needed. Right. He was what I he he was what I needed at that time because I didn't feel loved at all. Right. I did not feel love. I couldn't have been loved for something like this to happen. Right. 